Hey everyone, uh, today I will be showing you uh, kind of a, not a step-by-step, -step, but kind of uh, the process of what I went through to make my uh, uh, Destiny auto rifle. Now, I did, did not do this intentionally, but there is another person on YouTube, if you know my channel, you probably know this channel, uh, Andrew DFT, does it the same exact way and does it way better. Um, so if you want an in-depth tutorial on this, go to his channel. Um, I totally forgot that he made one of these. Um, but I, I can show you the process of how I specifically did it. It's been a while since I watched his video. But again, if you want to know exactly how to do this and do it better, because I promise you he does it better, uh, go over to Andrew DFT's channel. Um, but otherwise, uh, the one I made is kind of a, a standard, a typical auto rifle. Um... Basically, what I did is I took two uh, face plates. I sketched out the rough uh, drawing of what I think it would look uh, as a silhouette. Uh, I cut two of those out, and then I put a bunch of squares in the center to kind of give it some structure. And then all the way around, uh, towards the inside, I put a perimeter of um, styrofoam poster board uh, all the way around. To kind of give it that thickness that it kind of needs instead of doing it like how you would a pistol or like a sword where you would just layer it that would use up a lot of foam so you just uh you structure it out on the inside and then you put a perimeter and if you're planning on making the magazine uh come out then you know put that into account kind of do a dotted line on the inside of where you want that and then do that so that's kind of what i did let's see if i can get this out I kind of drew out where I wanted the uh, magazine to go into, and then I uh, basically outlined that. Made the magazine, embellished it with a few things here and there, uh, cut some corners off and everything. Uh, and then I just kind of let friction do the work after that. I didn't make it a trigger uh, to kind of help it make, <clears throat> make it seem more like a prop. Obviously, some people can get ridiculous. So I just I take out the trigger so it's just a little bit more of a notion to where it's very... I would hope that it's obvious that there's no way that even if this was a concealed firearm that there's no way to even uh, fire it, <laughs> basically. Um, the barrels... Uh, well, another thing too real quick before I get to the barrels. After I made the faceplate uh, and the magazine and biffed it out and whatnot, um, buffed it out... <laughs> I uh, just basically, I looked at the pictures and kind of made the uh, shapes and just glued them on there. Then all the divots and everything I cut out with a, a razor blade and that's pretty much it. So now the trick to that, to know the depth and everything, is you get a 2D picture that looks like this. And then you get a three quarters view that looks something like this. So you can kind of get the depth of all the details of the gun and everything. I specifically, for this one, I made the, a uh, red dot sight. Um, going to get a clear plastic, so something you would get like a, with a Hot Wheels or something like that. Cut it out to uh, fit the size of the hole right here, and then get some red paint and just make it a red dot sight. Now the barrels are made out of uh, the top one right here is made out of uh, the Nerf gun compressor air thing, uh, and the bottom one here is made out of a, a marker cap thing. I'm not made out of, but it's just a marker cap glued on there. Other than that, that's pretty much all it does. And it also has a charging handle, which is not really hard to make. Um, but you want to do that before you glue everything together because I had to cut out a rectangle and then do all of it. So basically what you do is you get whatever um, the, the charging bolt is. And then you get something sticking through, so like a popsicle stick, a toothpick. I used a, a flat Lego that didn't have the studs on it. And then on the other side, you put a stopper on there so it doesn't fall through or come back out. So then it's kind of stuck in the, in the uh, slot. Um, and then it just moves relatively freely. Um, and if you want it to go back automatically, so if you, you know, you pull it back and it goes back forward... Um, you just put a rubber band somewhere up here, depending on how strong your rubber band is, and you connect it to the inside of the bolt, and it just pops right back. Um, but yeah, otherwise, you know, it's the same on the other side, just without the bolt, of course. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to 
show this off a little bit. It's not too impressive, but uh, yeah. Again, if you want to have a more in-depth uh, thing on how to do it, you can go over to Andrew DFT's channel. Um, again, I do it this way for a reason. I've, I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but it's just I don't have time, space, or money for all the materials. Granted, this one was relatively cheap, but most of the time, uh, especially the space, um, I'm, I'm not out of high school yet, <laughs> so uh, I can't just leave this stuff lying around for my parents to get upset at me about. So I can't really make these things over again, really. I can only kind of tell you the process of how I did and point and whatnot. Uh, so I do apologize about that. Again, if that bothers you, shoot me a message, comment uh, down below. But so far, I haven't gotten any negative comments on how I do it. So, um, yeah, until then, I'm not really worried about it. Hopefully, this is enough for you guys. Um, but yeah. Uh, and another thing, too, I'm, I'm not, I don't do templates for any of you that don't already know. Um, because I, unless it's something that's supposed to form fit or whatever, I really don't try and go and look up templates or anything like that because then, again, I've, I have a whole rant on it. Uh, I'm sure you guys can find it, but it's just, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not doing templates for any of the stuff that I do, uh, especially in the future, I'm going to start making my own, um, projects, so my own designs and everything, I've already, I th may have already shown off my helmet, if not, let me know, or I'll look and I'll show it off, um, but I'm going to start trying to make my own designs, um, so then I can actually... Hopefully I can sell my stuff soon if I can get better. Obviously this is not good enough. Um, but hopefully whenever I can get good enough, I will try and uh, start selling my stuff. So I kind of need to start make, coming up with my own designs. Um, I won't be selling the templates or anything. I will be selling the, th the items as it is. But th again, that's going to be in the future. But, um, but yeah, because I, I, I don't believe in taking someone else's work them putting it together, then saying that you made it. You can say that you build it. Again, I have a whole rant on it, but uh, I'll stop wasting your guys' time. Uh, I will see you in the next one.